Picture the eagle. Yeah, eagle is flying here. Okay. The males aren't they white-headed? Males are. Yes. Yeah. And we do have a, a fish called offspray up here, and they're, they, but they have more of a. They're they're um. They're almost like. Their their wings are more kind of. V shape. Yeah. And they're not as, uh, an eagle's wings are real wide. He, he, must, he real must not got narrow. He must not nose. got nothing. Oh, did it come back? Uh, yeah. I just circled around and went over. <coughs> so at the end of the day, you dump out all your garbage in the air and then you got all these birds coming after it. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's an eagle up there. Look at that one, right straight up. Yeah. <laughs> that one seats a lot of people. I got a good fish story for you. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> My son and daughter were out uh, trolling and she caught a uh, bass on that thing. She's reeling it in. And one of these eagles come along and <clears throat> grabs the fish and he's up there <laughs> flying around with the fish, the fish and she's got the fish ball. And she says, Dad, what do I do now? And he says, damn the I know. He says, I've never seen this before. <laughs> Wheel it in. So what happened? <laughs> well, they cut the line and the eagle took it. Ah. You know, That's I, funny. I didn't fish, don't fish that much. When I went fishing the last in. time, I just couldn't believe it. I caught a fish. And I'm telling you, it must have just been, well, we got these little I would say without exaggerating, about that far from shore. It was only that big. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot my crewage for it. Sorry. What kind my of fish are down my, there? My, my grandpa, my dad, and I. Down here? Like, yeah. You can get walleye, sunnies, um, Northern. crappies. Yeah, probably crappies. And I was out here when somebody caught a bullhead. This is the first I've been on a lake before. It was me. This whole year. How deep is it here? Now we're only at eight, foot. eight feet. I was making mini donuts. It's not very deep lake. On the way over, it's, Denny, it's uh, between Denny 35 and 45 foot. That's, oh, really? Does it really? I think that's the deepest it gets. There's a little island under here somewhere. Well, 40, there's 44 clubs in just Hennepin County alone. Like, I know he's, he's, uh, he goes with it. I can't think What's his name? He might, he might go over to, uh, Lynn Lake. 
Does he have a dog? He used to, but he had I know, to get rid of it. That's Lynn Lake Alliance. Okay. I know, and he's a shorter guy. Yep. Yeah. yeah yep. And he's got, he's uh, gonna get into he's got a little bit of uh, gray in the sides. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That's he, cool. he lost, he had to get rid of his dog, and yep. he's getting a new one. It died. Did it die? I know they took out to. In two weeks, you will get a new doggy. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. A in new dog. I know who. Mm -hmm. He, uh, they need to get new dog in two dog. weeks. Okay. I know he's been waiting since like before Christmas. Mm -hmm. It takes a while. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. And now they're, they come from. Um, I think you better put. He lives in our building too. Oh yeah. Look at this. Like Where are you big keeping fish, the we're going right over them. Where are you keeping the bait? Great, just great right company. Well, he's got a fish finder on there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Looks like there's a whale under there. Right there. That guy's big. Yeah. That guy's big. Yeah. Yep. There's a house here for sale coming up right around over here where this dock is and a big for sale sign and uh, I called and I told oh, no. 1.7 million dollars. No, really? Yeah, and I kind of well, be one of those hotels. It, it's pretty big and, and I got, see no kids, no pets, no wife. So. The four bedroom house might be. You could open your shop out of there. Yeah, I could. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the state of Minnesota would love me. Yeah. 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 You could have bought it and had it turn it into a, a motel or a motel. Or, or, or maybe we come out, we could stay here about, overnight. Um, <laughs> yeah. About three different roommates. Huh? Let's go fishing motel. There we go. With a cake of beer. Yeah. A cake of beer. We don't at our facility. We don't drink in public areas. They have to drink in their apartments. So that's why they keep razzing us about me taking a place that, that they right? can drink because it's a non-alcoholic community. No, we can't have you on board. Otherwise, I'd have fun. <laughs> right. I got this new drink. It's called uh, uh, a big ginger, and it's. Um, it's an Irish whiskey that's made right here in Minneapolis in ginger ale. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Then right underneath us. Irish whiskey will kill you, though. I was down to working, and I first started working. Which is and I worked, really I worked, I got a test of bus on 6th Street and about 5th Avenue. I'd walk up there. On a Friday, yeah. there was a fellow standing there. He says, well, what you doing tonight? Yeah. I said, oh, I don't know. I guess I'll just go home. That's the bottle. Oh, aren't you going out and drink? I said, well, I don't drink, first of all. Oh, you don't drink? He says, why? Well, I says, I don't uh, care for it. The second day, I said, if I got drunk, I wouldn't know what I was doing. Oh, I always get drunk, and now tonight I'm going out to drink till my head is like this, and I can scratch it. And I said, yeah, but you're drunk, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, but it's so nice. And then I go home, and then the tomorrow morning, I realize I'm going to get this big headache. You know, I got this big headache when I wake up. She thought this case. She wants to learn how to cast. He's trying to catch one before I do. <laughs> oh, is that it? Crappie, sunfish, bass. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I worked at three places in Eddie. Uh, bull ads. Each one of them had their other Christmas once in a while party and then other parties. Yeah. Yeah. Later in the day, so they were at uh, and 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 this late. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Early Boss's morning. House. Oh, well, let's go downstairs and that, that's where they log in. Uh, what am I going to put on? down there. Uh, I said, well, no, I'm going to bring. Oh, what? Oh, well, well, we got pop. Down. Okay, I'll take some pop. You want to fish? So we go out down there and then it's going to come. I want to fish one. Well, then we took another place I was at. We had moved from one place to another. We did it in a day and a half. The boss said, hey, that was quick. I tell you what, I'm going to take you out here to the Hopkins house tonight. And if you, what you call it, get, uh, when you get done here, you go home and shave or change and that, or just go like the yard. So I took him, wow. went home, and yeah. changed. Uh, but then I didn't uh, drive in on that, so I had another person that was driving cabin, at that time. Which is on the white fish chain? I said to the son, uh, 
the boss of some here, places, but I can't ride with you. North, uh, he says, don't go. He says, my dad goes right by your place, so, so I can have him uh, you drive you out. You can't go up so there sure enough, the boss came by, picked me up, and uh, we went to the Hopkins house. We got out a little early. So then he says, well, he says, you go to the bar and sit there, because that's where Lodot and Law come, and I'll go back and check on the food. So he went back and moved on the came. Yeah, they got it all ready, so everything is okay. We sat down there, and then the bartender came over. We went to Corpus Christi this year. First time ever. Oh, I'll take a so-and-so, you know. We left home. Come to the woman. I'll take a so-and-so. Come to me. I just got off work. Looked at us and we drove straight So, then what's your call? He said, We gotta have something. He says, You can have some more inside. We got to see how coffee or milk. He said, You can have anything you want inside. Go ahead and take something. I said, Well, I don't drink, actually. So, I took a bottle of seven or seven up, you know, and he came with a big glass of it. Fine. Then he took that a couple times like that. He grabbed a blanket and I slept out. Then it was time to go in. So, we went in. And then here was all of them. I can see it. Beautiful down there. <coughs> the stars. No, there is nothing. They took him, uh, like brought in booze and said the coffee and all. But no wind. They come to me. I want some of them. So nice then toward the end, and then they were going to take and toast the boss. Everybody has to have a full glass, you know. So the sun gets up, eats my glass, and says, You want to seven up? Wasn't it? Yeah. So he went out, came back in, I took one taste of it, smelt it, I didn't smell nothing, but I knew it didn't taste right. So I said, well, I bet you got vodka in here, and you say vodka doesn't smell. So he took uh, it, uh, dumped it, came back, and <laughs> seven up. Oh, yeah. The golfing was good. Oh, there's another story for you. I get to this golf course, and I was looking around for my ball. I had my seven iron all ready to go to, and knock it out. of. The, I was kind of close to the, uh, to the uh, what would you say, oh, tall grass. Okay. Then uh, the... Ranger comes by on this little uh, golf cart. He says, Get out of there! And I said, Why? We just we we uh, shot a 25 foot alligator right there last year. No. And I go, <laughs> and I go, how many pair of boots did you make out of that thing? I was just kidding, right? He says we made three pairs of out of them, alligator boots. <laughs> but I said I don't see any beady eyes. He says when you see them, it's too late. You better get out of there. Okay. Never found my ball, so I took a drop. But that was twenty-five footer. Yeah. Wow. Now you're in about eleven feet here. Now what's going on too is right in this spot. I think we're going to hit it just right. Now us fishermen call it haystack. It's it's like a under under the water. It's kind of a peak, and there's fish. Oh, I saw it this morning. It's I couldn't stay on it because <coughs> the anchors went whole, and and then we should be real close to it. it. It's in about 18 feet of water, and then it comes up to eight, seven or eight feet, and back down. So hopefully we can go. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, all kinds of fish. Florida, that they, was in one of these farms, and that there where they got the alligators, and that you take them, you know, they bring them up, they do That's alligator wrestling. It was interesting, and I held one, but the little ones, they had the yeah, mouth yeah, tape yeah, shut, you know, yeah. it was only about yay big. <laughs> wow. Had a picture taken with it. But no, the, uh, they told about this story and that there about this um, Floridian was sitting in the water in this bay line, and these two tourists came uh, out of town and that. They said, oh, oh, can we go swimming here? Are there any alligators? No, nope, no alligators. So we thought, oh boy, this is pretty good. They took and they changed and came but back. We, we don't Are you sure there's no I'll alligators? Positive no alligators. So they took and they waited out in the water and then they came back. Are you double positive there's no alligators? Yeah, but well, what makes you so sure? Well, there's too many sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Were you asking me up those community homes? They're there, right there. You see those right there? Oh, I see them. Yeah, those are uh, like a little village like, and they're really nice. One of my customers. Ron Tarvin lives there with his wife. Are they, they in, very nice. Are they in Eden Prairie or Chan Hanson? That would be Chan Eden Prairie. Yeah, he's got an Eden Prairie. <coughs>